It's a Saturday when we get our tips from Dave the Garden Guy, and this morning he's helping me in my backyard because, Dave, you say it's a mess. It is a mess, and a <laughs> big one at that, Tess. You know what you need to do is you need to go ahead and think about taking care of these citrus trees. If I take a look down here, you're going to see what we've done is we've created this large well around the citrus trees. Here's the problem. Let me dip down here, and I'll grab this. Okay. Thing. Okay. So one of the problems you have is all these emitters are right up against the base of the tree. This tree is not getting proper water. It should be where? It should be right at the drip line of the tree. So we've got to move these emitters out and even past the drip line is the ideal situation. Believe it or not, these emitters are not really going to give you enough water anyway. So I've created this large well around here. Okay. So instead of the emitters, we're going to go ahead and just turn those guys off. But most emitters should be at the drip line of the tree. We're going to turn these guys off on this in this particular situation and we're going to just have you flood irrigate this about every two weeks this time of year. So every two weeks I'm filling this up with water. Exactly. Does this so go for all citrus trees or just for the lemon? All citrus trees should be watered this way. In okay. fact, citrus trees like to dry out in between waterings. So it's really crucial. They dry out completely in between waterings. Here's the other thing I found. Take a look at your root zone down there. You see the other side there and you mm -hmm. look at this side of the root zone. That is what we call root flare. Without that root flare exposed, you're gonna end up with problems. So we went ahead and massively started moving a lot of the soil away from that root flare, and it's really crucial on any trees. This is any tree, citrus, and all your other trees, root flare exposure is crucial because what happens? You get a what we call an anaerobic situation in there where the actual soil is disintegrating the stem of the plant itself. Last but not least, we want to make sure that we're fertilizing. Some regular okay. fertilization is the ideal situation. Again, right at the base of the tree itself, or excuse me, right at the drip line of the tree itself, some with a fairly high nitrogen fertilizer. This Dr. Bob's works out great as a citrus food but spread it around the plant itself okay. and you're gonna be in real good shape to really have a nice citrus tree on in the spring. Once you get to spring, well, you're gonna do it all over again. I was just gonna say, so how often do we do it? Just About three times a year. Okay. Labor Day, Valentine's Day, Memorial Day, and you'll be on your way towards a great looking citrus tree all year round. All right, and that's why he is Dave the Garden Guy. Had to go to the professionals because this sorry tree needed some help. <laughs> Back to you guys. It did.